Hi, my name is uh, Pauline Song, and I'm Sharon Rose Master from Perth. Uh, nice to meet you all. Today we have a very special guest, uh, Director Brad House from Manuka Life. It's great to see you again, Brad. And I, as I believe, this is your fourth time uh, in the Academy. It is indeed, and it's a pleasure of mine to be here, and I really appreciate the opportunity to be able to uh, sit in front of some familiar faces who I see every year, um, and some unfamiliar faces and some new people. It's always wonderful to see new, new people. So um, I hope you enjoy this little segment, um, and uh, being that um, the um, honey that we produce for you is uh, kept in very secret locations. Yes, uh, we were trying to figure out where it is, but it's a secret, and I swear to not say about it. <laughs> okay, we have gathered a few questions from our members about Manuka Honey, and because Atomy Manuka Honey 830 is one of our best-selling products in Atomy Oceania. And the first GS, GS products, which is very, very exciting, and we are all quite excited to hear uh, your expert knowledge on this, myself included, because just three days ago, I lost my voice. And now I'm speaking to you, and thanks to Manuka Honey. Now, um, something I was very curious about is that um, many people ask, does Manuka Honey ever go off? There's one short answer, it's two letters, no. <laughs> um, uh, but you still need to store it correctly um, and keep it in. It's a bit of pantry product um, and kept at room temperature. Uh, it's, it's impossible for it to go off. It has a natural preservative. The natural sugars, sugars make it a natural preservative. Um, and uh, it's been that way for over thousands of years. So just make sure that you store it well and you'll, um, you'll benefit from the health and well-being benefits that, um, that come with Manuka honey. Yeah, particularly the, particularly the, re, the way we pack it in the violet glass jar um, with a humidity and temperature sensor lid, which will also um, help the longevity of the product as well. Thank you very much. Uh, if you want to take a look later, you can take a look how the violet jar looks like. Um, <laughs> number two, then why does it have a best before date on the pot then? Uh, under the Australian uh, Food Standards leg legislation, every food produced in Australia must have a best buy date on all products. Mm -hmm. You cannot get away with it. Whether it has a lifespan of 10 years, 15 years, 2 years, 60 years, uh, you must have a best buy date. So we use the longest one possible, which is 4 years from production date. That doesn't take into account that the honey may have, may have been produced six months before that in the plantation. Um, that's just to say that um, it was produced on that day and the best buy date is four years from there. So if you have honey in your pantry and it's three months overdue, it'll be fine. Oh, great. Nice to know that it can be sort of eternal. <laughs> All right. Um, my um, jar of manuka honey appears to be crystallised and is it still okay to consume it? Again, it's a completely natural phenomenon of honey. That's just the crystallisation of the natural sugars in the honey. It generally happens a lot faster in cooler climates. So if you put your, if you put your honey in the fridge, you will see it crystallise faster. You can actually um, uh, reverse the process um, so what you do is you take your jar of crystallised honey, even though it's still very nice to eat. In actual fact, I find it quite sweet when it's in a crystallised state. Um, uh, so the reason, sometimes the reason that it crystallises is not just cold weather or it may not be creamed. Now, when I say creamed, that's not buying creamed honey in the, in the supermarket. No. This is when it's been aerated to allow it to, to absorb some absorb oxygen. It. But if you, if you do have your honey um, crystallisers, just get a pot of water, don't heat it too quickly, drop the jar in with the lid on, yes. um, and gradually heat it up to about 28 or 30 degrees and you'll wow. find it'll, it'll liquefy all over again. Thank you very much for that info because I have 
reports of them that I now know what to do to reverse. <laughs> Number four, uh, what makes Manuka honey so powerful? In Manuka honey, what's been identified and it's still being studied is a compound called methoglyoxal, which is the organic compound responsible for the Manuka honey strong antibacterial properties uh, and the other benefits that take place within gut health, helping your voice. Yes, thank you so um, much. And the other, uh, just all, all of the things that go with the consistent honey benefits that are well publicised on um, throughout the Atomi po um, uh, point of sale material. Oh, that's great. All right, um, here is a pop quiz for every one of you here. Are you ready? Yes? Manuka honey comes, uh, becomes more premium as the MGO gets higher. Yes or no? Yes? yes? Let's get the answer from Brad. Yeah, absolutely. So M MGO will start basically in the supermarkets from about 30 plus MGO and, um, and then goes right through till about to, to 830, sometimes over 1,000. Sometimes the honey that we use in the 830 for a Tomy is over 1,000 MGO. Um, but um, it doesn't have, once it gets about that high, that's about the peak of its powers. Mm. Yes. Um, so why are the high uh, MGO Manuka honey expensive? Look, as, as I mentioned before, the MGO, um, if it comes from respective plantations, you ask me why I wouldn't tell people where the plantations are. Yes. The good plantations that produce the high MGO are rare. Um, and if we were to publicise where they are, they would get poached. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, all the 830 and 830 plus that we can produce um, it all goes to uh, um, uh, Atomy. So, um, you know, it's, it's very, it's a supply and demand so, of the... So um, we have it exclusive? Ver nearly exclusive, yes. Wow. We have a little bit for ourselves that... We put on our own. Thank you so and, much. And the other thing is, just remember that we're Western Australian. Oh, yes. Even though we're, you know, our the very first... Country, our very state. GS, yes. GS product. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty... Um, uh, it's pre it's pretty, pretty important for us all. Well, thank you so much. We are so honoured, isn't it? Living in Western Australia and our product now is uh, gone all over the world, right? Through Atomy Channel of Distribution. Uh, how can you distinguish a good... Manuka honey? Well, it comes down to the MGO rating, is, uh, gives you the, the grade of the honey, and that's a, that's a scientific test to um, identify what the MGO level is. The other thing is that on every authentic jar of Manuka honey, you will see an Australian Manuka Honey Association emblem and stamp, wow. as you do on all of the Atomi jars, and that will give you a guarantee that it's genuine Manuka honey and not a fake. Mm. So you can now um, go out to the market and check whether you can find any fake ones. And uh, if you find them, let them know you can get the genuine one from our Atomy Manuka honey. And right. the other thing, just to add to that, Pauline, yes. um, sometimes people say, oh, different Manuka honey smells different from other. It will be just, it's a plantation. It's a natural product. So oh, if yes. there's a plantation in Manjima, the honey off that will smell different to the plantation in Maruna or Mandurah, for instance, or the Peel region. So Which is your best? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell you that. You, <laughs> sorry, get, you, get, the the best, you get the best, You get the best, Pauline. You get the best. I'm sorry, I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm sure we all are. In fact, I tried to call the company and I want to visit, but they say top secret. Yeah. yeah that was about two years ago. I'll try ago. my best if I know. Uh, you have to bribe me. <laughs> okay, next. Um, even though it has the same uh, amount of MGO, why is our Atomy uh, Maunuka honey cheaper than those in uh, New Zealand? Well, the, the, you, after we finish, there's going to be a video, video go up of our plantations. Oh, yes, yes. One of the important things to note with the honey that we produce is that for the last seven years, we've been doing a... a uh, elite clonal genetics plant breeding program, which increases the flowering time of the manuka, um, of the manuka plant, which is a native plant. Yes. Uh, increases the um, flower as well and the amount of nectar in it. And at the end of the day, 
Australia is about, what, 12 times, 14 times larger than New Zealand. We have more land mass available. Western Australia, I think New Zealand can fit into uh, maybe three or four times at least. Yes. And um, so it look, and we have, we're far warmer. Oh, look, our ambient temperature in Western Australia is about 21 degrees, yes. not including the northwest. Um, and in New Zealand, it's down at about 17 degrees. Yes. So we have that warmer period. We have a larger land mass and we have a geographical advantage. Fantastic. So, um, not forgetting, we have 79 species, I heard, and New Zealand only had one. Uh, that's, that's right. Yeah, thank you very I much, Pauline. Over 80. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> there is. Amazing. Thank you, Brett. Manuka honey really is ev for everyone, right? Um, it amazed me how remedies, someone seeking immune support, uh, whether you're a health enthusiast, uh, you, you, can, you can take it. And uh, right now, uh, even for food lover, you can just add a little bit of unique flavour to your dishes. And then uh, Manuka Honey got you covered. You like that? <laughs> yes, you can find our Manuka Honey uh, 830 on our official website. And for the price of just $80, with 26,000 PV. And that's amazing. Absolute quality, yeah. absolute, absolute price. price. <laughs> Ab absolutely. <He> got it. <laughs> a good partner. <laughs> right. A first partner. <laughs> All right. Um, after this, uh, we're going to watch a little video. Right? Yeah. Look, and uh, I, again, I'd just like to say thank you. Uh, it's been great to um, see many um, uh, familiar faces and new faces. And um, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free. Or if I'm not here at any time, just uh, give our office a call through the Atomi. People will be able to put you in touch with, with us. And um, we, we won't take you to the plantations, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we will tell you how good it is. And um, I wish you all the best. And, uh, you know, it's a... A fabulous um, opportunity that you've got in front of you. So thank you very much. Thank you.